Believe the word of God. He said it will make you strong every day. It will save you when trouble happens. Dear child of God, this is the word of God. He says when trouble happens, I will save you. I will make you strong. Nothing shall by any means hurt you, dear child of God. It says nothing shall by any means hurt you. Believe the word of God. If he said he would do this, he would do it. If he said nothing, nothing whatsoever shall by any means hurt you, dear child of God. It doesn't matter the weapons of war that the enemies are using to contend against your life, to fight against you. They will not succeed. He said no weapon, no weapon fashioned, no weapon formed. No weapon created against my own would ever succeed. Dear child of God, this is how the Lord will continually keep you safe. This is how the Lord will keep you safe night and day. This is how you would have your testimonies and you would indeed say, O oh Lord my God, the God of my salvation, thank you for being my strength in the time of trouble. You see the psalmist in Psalm 37 verse 39 says, But the Lord is the savior of the upright. He said, He is their strength. In the time of trouble, dear child of God, the Lord is the savior of the upright. Yes, you have done everything well. You have kept your lane. You have done everything you needed to do. You have kept the laws of God. You have kept the instructions of God. Yet, they are still fighting you. Yet, they are still contending against you. You have not done anything to them, dear child of God. You are wondering why they hate you this much. Know this today, dear child of God. He said he is the strength of those who are upright. He said he will keep them in the time of trouble. And yours will not be an exception, dear child of God. Yours will not be an exception in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God of heaven that you serve, he will preserve you. He will keep you safe. And he will not allow you to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. But he gave them the heart to stand, the courage to succeed. He said, do not be afraid, for they will not succeed. He said, those you see today, dear child of God, he said, you will see no more. The enemies you see today, those pursuing you, the Lord, would arise against them. He will contend against them. He will fight against them until they are all destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord arose against them and he took up their chariot wheels. Dear child of God, they were pursuing God's people to destroy them. But instead, they were the ones that were destroyed. All those who are chasing you, all those who are fighting you, all those who are pursuing you to put you down, to destroy you, to take you off before time. Dear child of God, they will be the one destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Such as God preserve these people and make sure that the enemies could not hurt them and make sure the enemies could not destroy them and make sure that the enemies did not have the last laugh. So dear child of God, your story will be, they will not have the last laugh. They will not gloat over you in the mighty name of Jesus. David went to God. He says, do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them rejoice over me. The God of my salvation, please come through for me. Come to my rescue. And the Lord did. Came to his rescue. He delivered him. The enemies could not gloat over him. Dear child of God, the enemies could not exact their evils upon him. So would the Lord do for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have sought the face of God. He said he would deliver you. He will deliver you from the hands of the enemy. He said he will deliver you from the house of bondage. Believe the word of God. He said they will not be able to succeed against your life. He said you shall not die. He said you will live. Dear child of God, he said no part of your body shall be destroyed. Yes, you will not experience any hurt in your bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus, all of their attempts against your life shall fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear child of God, I repeat. All of their attempts against your life would fail because the Lord has said that he will keep you, that you are his anointed. He says, now I know, now I know. He had his testimony because he saw what the Lord did and then he confirmed that God saves his anointed. Dear child of God, you will be able to have these confirmations as well, that God saves his anointed, that God preserves his own and God do not allow them to see destruction. You shall testify of the mercies of God, of the goodness of God, and of the graciousness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, Yahweh, be gracious to us. We have waited for you. Be our strength every morning, every day. He says, make us strong. Be our strength. Save us in the time of trouble. When trouble comes on our way, when trouble comes on our path, deliver us. And God did just that. 
Dear child of God, the Lord will deliver you continually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The psalmist said in Psalms 20 verse 6, Now I know, my God. He says, Now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed. He said he will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. My God. He says, Now I know that Yahweh, that my God, save his anointed. Dear child of God, you are the anointed of God. And the Lord have sent a message. He said, touch not my anointed. He said, do my prophet no harm. You have been called of God. You are the anointed of God. Dear child of God, to your family, you have been called. To your, this generation, you have been called. To your clan, you have been called. And the Lord is saying, you will not be touched. The Lord is saying, you cannot be touched. The Lord is saying, he will keep you safe from evil. He will keep you safe from harm. He will keep you safe from everything. Yes, the malicious plans of the enemies, the evil plans of the enemies to destroy you. The Lord is saying, he will keep you safe. David came to that point that it was a witness. He said, yes, now I know. Now I know because the Lord showed him supernatural strength. Because the Lord helped him, showed him mercy and saved him. He knew that now God saves his anointed. He knew that God was committed to keeping to his word. You see, when the Lord says, everything he says will not return back until they fulfill the mission that they were sent. And part of the things that were said was that you shall not be touched, was that you shall be protected, was that you shall be preserved in the days of evil. Yes, you may go through the valleys of destruction. You may go through the valleys of the shadows of death. But he's saying, don't be afraid. Fear no evil. For they will not come near you. For they will not come near your dwelling tent. Near your dwelling places. Near the places of your work. Near the places where your family lives. Dear child of God, he said, you shall be protected. He said, you shall be preserved. And David had this testimony. He said, now I know that Yahweh saves. Now I know that Yahweh rescues. Now I know that Yahweh delivers. He said, now I know that Yahweh comes through for his people. Dear child of God. You will know this as well in the mighty name of jesus yes david had faced death. david was faced with situations he had a near-death experience dear child of god but the lord saved him yes he must have given up at some point he may have thought yes something is going to happen to me he may have thought at some point in time that now the enemies will catch up with me but god came through even in those times that he couldn't do anything anymore even in the times of his weaknesses, dear child of God. Even in the times I couldn't fight back. Even in the time that the enemies were drawing closer to him. God came through and rescued him. And so he would say, now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed. Dear child of God, you would have testimonies upon testimonies. You would be able to say, indeed, God is true to his word. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will see all that may have happened to you. And you will say, despite it all, I am still standing. Dear child of God, you will say, despite it all, I am still here. Yes, they have done everything to bring you down. They have sent threats your way. Night and day, you have seen these things. Dear child of God, they have tried to put your light off. They have tried to do everything to destroy you. They have sent people. Yes, they have sent people to destroy you. But none of them could ever succeed because you are. The anointed of God. He said, touch not my anointed. He says, do my prophet no harm. And all those who tried, my God, what the Lord did to them, they couldn't recover. He dealt with them a terrible blow. Dear child of God, every of those people who are tempting your life, who are saying you will know no peace in your life, who are saying you will be destroyed, receive the word of God today, that if they refuse to stop, if they refuse to repent, everything they intend against your life everything they are planning every of their evil intentions would return back to their head in the mighty name of jesus christ have strength receive the strength of the lord because it will come through for you he said it will come through for you every morning he said it will rescue you he said it will save you he said it will deliver you and he said it will keep you safe from evil he said touch not man anointed and do my prophet no harm no harm will come near your dwelling, dear child of God. No harm will come near your tent in the mighty name of Jesus. Your home is preserved. Your businesses are preserved. Dear child of God, your loved ones are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
when destruction is looming, when the enemies are planning to attack, dear child of God, you shall be covered. You will not be seen in the mighty name of Jesus. Where destruction is about to happen, dear child of God, the Lord will relocate you from there. The Lord will make sure that you will not be touched. The Lord will make sure that you will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. If he said it, it means he will do it. It means he will bring it to pass. So do not be afraid of what they are doing. Do not be afraid of their threatenings. Dear child of God, do not be afraid of all they said that they would do against you. If God is with you, dear child of God, if God is for you, it doesn't matter those who are against you, they would not succeed. And I know that God is for you. So he will give you your testimony. And then you will say like David, now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed, that Yahweh delivers his own. He answers from his only place. He answers from heaven and he sends his saving strength. He sends his right hand to deliver his home. Dear child of God, he will uphold you. He will keep you safe and you shall not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, get set for you will testify of the saving grace of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.